Hello everyone, this is Abi, aka Only Abi Doang, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys a guide to all of the 46 death types in The Sims 4 as well as each of their ghosts' abilities. I'll be covering up all the death types from the base game up till the last expansion pack as the time I'm recording this, which is for rent that was released in December 2023. So if there are more new types of death in the future, I'll write it up in the description of the video or in a pinned comment down below. With that already covered, let's take a look at all the death types in the base game first. Number 1. Death by Starvation To trigger this, you just need to lower your sims hunger need until it's fully empty. That's it. They'll begin from hungry and then to ravenous. And if the ravenous debuff expires and you still don't feed them, they will die of starvation. The ghosts of this will have their hunger need decay twice as fast, so they're gonna be eating a lot. Number 2. Death by Fire Fires can start due to several circumstances, such as when sims with low cooking skill tries to cook, a lit fireplace near flammable objects, a sim lighting fireworks from the city living expansion pack indoors, and many more fire starting interactions, even from other packs. If a sim gets caught on fire, there will be a timer around the action queue here. To survive, they can extinguish the fire themselves, have others extinguish it, use the shower, or jump into a swimming pool. If the sim is still on fire until the timer ends, they will succumb to the flame and die. The ghost will appear smoky with flames lighting inside their body. They will also be able to summon a fire on the ground when they're angry. Number 3, Death by Old Age This death can happen once an elderly sim reaches the end of their life. If their age bar is full, there's a high chance they'll die of old age in each passing moment. As a ghost, they like to take it easy and sleep a lot autonomously. Number 4, Death by Overexertion If an elderly sim works out or performs strenuous activities, they'll get this dangerously tired uncomfortable debuff for a few hours. Since it's so uncomfortable, they won't be able to work out anymore. But you know what else is a form of strenuous activity? That's right, woohoo! And no uncomfortable debuff can stop them from doing this. But if they still dare to do it while they have the dangerously tired debuff, your sim will have a high chance of dying from overexertion right after that. Subao? Like old age ghosts, ghosts who died of overexertion also like to sleep a lot autonomously. Number 5, Death by Electrocution Sims can be shocked by electricity when they try to repair electrical objects while having low handiness skill or with a water puddle underneath when pressing the big red button as a scientist, using the weather changing machine with low handiness skill, trying to pass an electric temple gate, being attacked by a swarm of lightning bugs in Selva Dorada, working on a robotic station, and more. After the first shock, they will get this dazed debuff. But if they dare to mess with electricity again while having this debuff, there's a really high chance they will electrocute to death right after. Ghosts that died of electrocution will have jolts of electricity around their body. They also tend to do the hand buzzer prank a lot, and when they're angry, they can possess electrical objects to break them, which other ghosts can't do. Number 6, Death by Anger If a sim has 7 points of anger emotional buffs or more, usually from mean interactions and others, they will become enraged. They need to be calmed down immediately, which can be done by taking a cold shower, hitting stuffed animals, and calming themselves down with the mirror. If they're feeling enraged for too long, there's a chance that they become so angry they get a cardiac explosion and die. Ghosts that die of this will have smoke fuming inside their body. They will also get angry from time to time and can make sims around them be angry too. Number 7, Death by Embarrassment If a sim has 8 points of embarrassed emotional buffs or more, usually from embarrassing moments, they will become mortified, and they need to get out of that emotion. They can do so by giving themselves a pep talk in a mirror, hiding inside a blanket, or talking to other sims about it. If still mortified for too long, there's a high chance they become so mortified that they die of embarrassment, in a quite literal way. The ghosts who die because of this will get embarrassed from time to time. Number 8, Death by Laughter If a sim has more than 15 points of playful emotional buffs or more, usually from telling jokes, they will become hysterical. Keep in mind that heavy buffs text with playful. They need to calm themselves down in a mirror to get rid of it. If not, there's a high chance they will begin laughing and won't stop until they end up dying because of it. The ghosts will feel playful from time to time and they can also make sims around them feel playful too. Number 9, Death by Cowplant You can find cowplant berries to plant cowplants from digging treasures, exploring space, fishing, grafting dragon fruit and snapdragon, and more. 
You can then plant the berry and once it's mature, if not fed for too long, the cow plant will let out their cake tongue as a bait. If a sim tries to eat the cake, they'll be eaten, but they'll be spat out alive and with this uncomfortable debuff. But if they try to eat the cake again while still having the debuff, the cow plant will devour them for good now. Once devoured, other sims can milk the cow plant and drink the deceased sims life essence to extend their life. The ghosts will be able to decay plants when in a bad mood. They will also take care of plants in your lot autonomously, even the very plant that kills them. Number 10, Death by Drowning. This death type was implemented to the base game in November 2014, a few months after the game is released. This death can be triggered when your sim's energy need gets completely empty while swimming in a pool. Usually, they'll get out when they're tired, so you need to trap them in a pool. Nah, removing pool ladders won't work this time. They're smart now. Building fences or walls around the pool will do the trick. Once they're completely exhausted, your sim will drown to their death. The ghosts will have drops of water dripping out of their body. They will also create puddles of water on the ground and get scared when they're submerged in water, either from swimming or taking a bath. Number 11, Death by Meteorite. This death was implemented to the base game in June 2022 along with the addition of telescopes. There's a rare chance that when a sim uses a telescope, they'll get this debuff saying that a meteorite is coming at them. The debuff expires pretty quickly, so you need to get inside a building to survive. If your sim is still outside when the debuff countdown expires, a meteorite will hit your sim and they will die because of it. The ghost will have a floating meteorite inside their body. Also, at random times, they may suddenly get hit by another stray meteorite, even indoors. Don't worry, this is just a reenactment so it's not dangerous and this mess will disappear on their own after some time. Those are all the base game deaths. Also, many people stated that there's a death by rocket crash but it's just a myth. Sims will always survive a rocket crash no matter what. In Get to Work expansion pack, there are no new death types but there's this one serum scientists can create called Ghost Goo. If drunk, it'll turn sims into a random type of ghost for a few same hours. In Spa Day game pack, there's one type of death, which is… Number 12, Death by Steam. If a sim is relaxing in the sauna, they'll get this happy buff after a while. But if you keep forcing them to stay in the sauna right after they get up, it'll change into this uncomfortable debuff after a while. If they stay still in the sauna with this debuff for too long, they will end up dying of overheating because of the steam. The ghosts will have some steam coming out of their body. They will also be able to sabotage the sauna machine, so the next sim using it will cause it to break. Additionally, they will autonomously do activities that cool them down like swimming and drinking. Also, at one point, they used to be able to absorb water puddles in the past but apparently it's not possible now. It could probably be a bug. In Silly Living Expansion Pack, there's one new type of death, which is… Number 13, Death by Pufferfish. This death can happen if you eat low-quality pufferfish nigiri. It can be bought from the Japanese food stall in Senmai Shuno and you can learn to cook the dish once eaten. If you have low cooking skill and try to cook the dish, you may end up with a plate of poor quality pufferfish nigiri. If eaten, there's a chance that it'll poison your sim, especially if your sim is in a bad mood, killing them immediately. This death has three different variations depending on how your sim is positioned when eating the dish. The ghost will have a pufferfish swimming inside their chest. In Romantic Garden Stuff Pack, there's one new type of death, which is… Number 14, Death by Wishing Well. Not sure if this counts as a type of death, but nah, I'll include it anyway. If a sim wishes for youthful vigor onto the wishing well and the wish overwhelmingly fails, there's a chance your sim will be transformed into a random type of ghost. This effect is permanent unless they do certain interventions, like making another wish. In Vampire's Game Pack, there's one new type of death, which is… Number 15, Death by Sunlight. This death can only happen to vampires that don't have the perfect sunlight resistance ability. As a vampire, go outside when it's daytime and the weather is sunny. As they get in contact with sunlight, their skin will begin sizzling and their vampire energy need will drop. Going back inside, drinking sunlight reversal cocktail, using an umbrella from Seasons Pack, or wearing certain facial masks from Spa Day can help stop this. If the need drops completely, you'll get this other debuff and if you're still exposed to the sun for too long, your vampire will die of sunlight. The ghosts will have a small sun in their chest. They can also summon fires when angry, like the fire ghost. These ghosts are still a vampire and the sun won't burn them to death now, but it'll still drain their vampire energy need. In Cast and Dogs expansion pack, there are two new types of death, which are Number 16, Death by Old Age for Cats. Cats have three life stages and when an elderly cat's time is up, they will begin laying down and die because of their old age. 
Number 17, Death by Old Age for Dogs Like cats, the same can be said for elderly dogs. They will also die of old age when their time is up. Back when the pack was just released, cats and dogs have a different dying animation, where they would lay down and look around while Grimm was taking their soul, then disappeared awkwardly after their soul got ripped. Pets who die of this can also become ghosts. They can go through walls and possess objects like other ghosts. They may also howl or yowl from beyond when in a bad mood, making Sims scared. In Jungle Adventure Game Pack, there are two new types of deaths, which are number 18, Death by Poison. While exploring Selva Dorada, several threats can cause your sim to be poisoned. This can include insect bites like spiders, scorpions, or bee swarms, failing a chance card while exploring the jungle, poison dart traps when you activate the wrong temple puzzle, passing through poisonous gates, and from cursed treasure chests or relics. You can also be bitten by insects at home with the creepy crawly slot challenge equipped. When poisoned, your sim will have green circular lesions all over their body and belch from time to time. They'll get this debuff first and after it expires, they can either fight the poison off or have the poison get worse. You can get the poison antidote from purchasing through the computer or asking from locals about it which requires an ancient bone dust which can be obtained from temple chests, dig sites, temple traps, or from local matron secret wares. If you don't cure the poison in 3 days, it'll turn into overwhelmingly poisoned debuff and if it's still not cured after it expires, your steam will succumb to the poison. The ghosts will have a green sting aura around them. Also, they may belch from time to time, and if other sims are around, they may react annoyingly or even pass out. Very rarely, sims may also become poisoned because of it. Number 19, Skeleton Deaths. When you go to this temple in Selva Dorada, you can meet this temple guardian in the form of a walking skeleton. When interacting with them, you can learn skeleton jokes from them, and they will teach you this small dance. Once learned, if you tell the same skeleton jokes to the temple guardian three times in a row, they will end up laughing to their death and turn into a pile of bones. Additionally, if you use a specific ancient relic to summon a skeleton servant, they will also turn into a pile of bones after their time is up. In my first pet stuff pack, there are two new types of deaths, which are Number 20, Death by Rabbit Rodent Fever You can buy this rodent cage to have your own pet rodents such as a hamster or a rat. Keep in mind that when playing with them, they may bite your sim if you have low relationship. And if bitten, when their cages are dirty, there's a chance that right after this tense debuff ends, a debuff called Feeling Fuzzy will appear, giving your sim symptoms such as sneezing, coughing, and headache. At this stage, you can research about the disease from the computer or ask about it to the local vet, where you'll be told to order the treatment for it from the computer. If not treated within a day, you'll get another debuff called fuzzy fever with symptoms such as dizziness and uncontrollable bladder. If still not treated after a day, this final day's debuff called rabbit rodent fever will appear. At this stage, the disease is very contagious and can infect other sims. And if still not treated within 24 hours, your sim will succumb to the disease and die in a pretty horrifying way. <coughs> the ghosts will always wear this giant hamster costume and have foams around their mouth. They can also do the spread rodent fear self-interaction that can cause all sims around to freak out and run away. The costume cannot be changed until they drink this rabbit inoculation serum from the computer. Number 21, Rodent Death. Additionally, rodents can also starve to death if not fed for too long. The same can also happen when their time is up and they die of old age. Both deaths have the same death animation. In Strangerville Game Pack, there's one new type of death, which is Number 22, Death by Mother Plant To trigger this, you need to progress through Strangerville's storyline until you get access to the town's infection's main culprit, the Mother Plant. Once you can interact with her, you can attempt to fight her with this prayer weapon thing. It seems to be an impossible battle, and that's because it actually is. Your sim will be beaten up by her and get this dazed debuff. You need to recruit a group of sims to actually defeat her. If you still attempt to fight her alone again while still having the debuff, you'll end up being devoured by her, killing you in the process. Oh, and this death won't summon the Grim Reaper because your urn will appear on its own right after that. The ghosts of sims who were devoured by Mother Plan will have spores flying around them. All six of their needs will always be full and never decay, so this type of ghost is pretty OP. They can also possess plants to make them decay. Additionally, when your plumbing object gets clogged with vines in Strangerville, they can also possess them to clear them up. In Season Expansion Pack, there are four new types of deaths, which are Number 23, Death by Overheating If the weather is hot, especially on a heat wave, and your sim keeps staying outside, 
wears outfit other than hot weather or swimwear outfits, drinks hot drink, and does anything that heats them up, their body temperature will rise and they will get this very uncomfortable lethal heat debuff. They will also begin to sweat a lot. If they don't cool down immediately, not long after that they will get overheated and die. The ghost likes to do activities that cool them down like drinking and swimming and can sabotage the sauna machine like the steam ghost. They can also heat up nearby sims body temperature if they perform this idle animation or you can also warm them up directly by passing through them. Number 24, Death by Freezing When the weather is cold, especially if there's a blizzard and your sim keeps staying outside, wears outfits other than cold weather outfit, swims and does anything that cools them down, their body temperature will fall and then they'll get this very uncomfortable freezing debuff. Their skin will also turn blue. If they don't warm up immediately, they will then freeze on the spot and die of the cold temperature. The ghost will have this freezing aura around them. They can also extinguish fire by possessing them, do this freezing animation that freezes sims around, and cools them down by passing through them. Additionally, they tend to do stuff that warms them up, and if they possess a lit campfire, it'll also be extinguished. Number 25, Death by Lightning During thunderstorms, sims are advised to stay indoors, but if you dare to go out in the open when a storm is brewing, there's a chance your sim will be struck by a lightning. On the first strike, they will get both a Daze debuff and an Energize buff, but if struck for the second time while having these buffs, two possible outcomes can happen. Either you become supercharged and gain temporary lightning superpowers, or you die on the spot because of the lightning strike. Like electrocution ghosts, they have the same electric jolts appearance and are more likely to prank sims by shocking them, but unlike them, they can possess to break electronic objects. Number 26, Death by Flowers If a sim learns the flower arranging skill until they reach level 9, they will unlock the ability to send their arranged flower with dead flowers to have a death scented flower bouquet. If you put this in your inventory and then give it to someone else, the sim receiving it will age up to the next life stage right after. But what happens if it's given to an elderly sim? Well, after an elder receives this death scented flower bouquet, they will then proceed to die. This death has the same animation as death by overexertion, but it's considered as a unique death type if you take a look at the ghost trait. The ghost doesn't have any special characteristics or abilities. In Get Famous, there's one new type of death, which is number 27, death by drowning in a pond. This death is basically the same as drowning, but I'm gonna include it anyway. So if you have this fish pond and stuck some fish like piranhas or sharks in it, you need to feed it from time to time. If you dare to jump into the pond while the fish are still hungry, there's a high chance your sim will drown to death because of it. Oh, this applies to all the fish you can stock there, even hungry kois. The ghost will be the same as death by drowning. In Isla Living Expansion Pack, there are two new types of deaths, which are... Number 28, Death by Drowning in the Ocean When sims are swimming in huge bodies of water, if their energy need drops too low while swimming, they can drown to death because of it. It's the same as death by drowning in a pool, but it has its own unique death sting. The Grim Reaper will also appear in a different way, wearing snorkeling goggles instead. They will also get this cool floating urn in the end. The ghost of those who die because of this is the same as drowning ghost. Number 29, Death by being pulled underwater When swimming in deep water, sims may encounter sharks, making them scared after seeing one. With this debuffing effect, there's an increased chance that they may also be pulled underwater by something. Sims may survive this, but after that, more occurrences like this can happen if they don't get to land. And if they're unlucky, another can occur and after that, they may die of drowning because of this. Like before, this death has the same animation as death by drowning with unique music sting, but unlike before, this death doesn't correspond with sims' low energy need. The ghost will also be considered as drowning ghost. In Discover University Expansion Pack, there are two new types of deaths, which are Number 30, Death by Research Machine You can buy this research machine and if a sim reach level 6 of the research and debate skill, they will unlock the ability to contribute knowledge. This interaction lets sims share their knowledge about skills they've learned into the machine for a bit of cash. But if done multiple times in short time, their head will begin smoking and they'll get this day's debuff. And if they still try to contribute knowledge with this debuff in effect, it could end up being fatal. Your sim's mind will be blown to death and I mean it in a quite literal way. The ghost will be the same as death by overexertion, as the game consider it as one. This is the only way sims younger than elder be able to die of overexertion. Number 31, Death by Catastrophic Meltdown With the robotic station, sims can create a servo, a playable robot. 
It has unique needs like charge and durability, but you need to keep an eye out for their durability need. If it's dropped for too low, the servo will be broken and unable to do anything. You need to have other sims repair the servo, but if you leave the servo will be broken for too long until the interaction timer ends here, the servo will have a catastrophic meltdown and be destroyed. This that won't have any ghosts, as the servo will be erased from the safe completely, so any relationship with them will be deleted forever. After dying, they will become this pile of scraps that if collected, will give you several robotic parts. Even though there are no ghost servos, I'm gonna treat him to be one anyway. In Realm of Magic Game Pack, there's one new type of death, which is... Number 32, Death by Spellcaster Overload. If a spellcaster performs spells, their magical charge meter will increase, but if it's overcharged, but you do it anyway, there's a chance they will experience a spellcaster overload and they will explode. They will survive this at first and get this uncomfortable debuff. But if they dare to overcharge their meter again while still having this debuff, there's a high chance the next magical overload will end your save. Oh, damn it, Emily, go away, you're blocking the scene! Anyway, yeah, it'll end them for good now. The ghosts will have this rays of light coming out of their chest. They are also still a spellcaster. Additionally, the immortality potion that spellcasters can create can turn sims into a ghost if it fails, but it's just a temporary effect for around a day. In Tiny Living Stuff Pack, there's one new type of death, which is... Number 33, Death by Murphy Bed. Sims can own a Murphy Bed where it needs to be put down first before using it, but there's a chance that when you put one down, it won't open and when you try to open it, you'll get crushed instead. This can be prevented if you upgrade the bed so it won't break. But if you're really unlucky, there's a chance that after getting crushed, your sim dies because of it. This chance increases if you're putting down a broken Murphy bed. The ghosts will have some sleeping Zs inside their body. They also won't be able to sleep on beds, even regular ones or sleeping bags. The only way to replenish their energy is to sleep in a tent, nap on a sofa, launch chairs, pool floaters, or any non-bed stuff, or possess other sims for energy. After possessing a sim, your energy need will be completely full and the other sim will pass out. They can also warn others about bad safety and also wake up and warn sleeping sims, which can be annoying since it can happen on its own. In Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack, there are two new type of deaths, which are Number 34, Death by Flies. With the Reduce and Recycle Lot Challenge equipped, trashes in dumpster and outdoor trash cans will need to be possessed since it won't disappear on its own. If left overflowing, flies can appear. Sims can try to clear the flies or bond with the flies. It can succeed or fail. Bonding can be more successful when the sim is a slob and has low hygiene need. If successful, you'll be gifted a random produce from the insect farm like grub meals or cricket flowers. Whichever the outcome, the flies will go away right after. But there's a very rare chance that after failing to bond or clear the flies, your sim will suddenly be swarmed by them, killing your sim immediately. The ghosts will have swarm of flies both inside and outside of their body, will constantly be bothered by them, and will never fail when they try to clear or bond with the flies. Number 35, Death by Beetles. If a sim has level 10 mixology skill, they'll be able to make a beetle juice drink, which requires a beetle nugget that can be obtained from farming beetles in the insect farm. If you drink two of them in a row, you'll obtain this dazed debuff. If you try to drink another one while still having the debuff, they will immediately turn into a ghost. There's also no death animation, so Grim won't pay a visit, but they'll get this death by beetles trait. Like the flower death, they don't have any unique characteristics or abilities. How this death works is a reference to the movie Beetlejuice. In Snowy Escape Expansion Pack, there are two new types of death, which are... Number 36, Death by Vending Machine. Sims can use the vending machine here, and sometimes, the things they bought may get stuck. They can try to shake the machine, which can succeed, but they can also fail, in which they'll be crushed by the machine. At first, they'll get this injured debuff, and if they try again and get crushed, they'll get this worse injured debuff, and if they still dare to shake the machine again while having this debuff, there's a high chance they will still be crushed by the vending machine, and this time, they will die for good. The ghost will have a floating fizzing can inside their body. They also will never succeed in obtaining something from the vending machine for the rest of their ghostly life and will get this scared debuff. Number 37, Death by Falling from Heights. This pack introduces a new social event called Mountain Climb Excursion, where you will go through four areas to reach the peak of Mount Komorebi. On the third area called the Craft Icefall, there's this last climbing wall you need to climb through and it is the tallest climbing wall in the pack. 
Only sims with level 6 rock climbing skills can attempt to climb this. Certain factors like the bad weather or the icy conditions can let them falling from the cliff, which usually gives them this injured debuff. With this debuff in effect, they won't be able to climb high enough, so having this debuff kinda protects them from death. Anyway, there's a rare chance that when they climb high enough, their hands will slip and they will fall to the ground, killing them on the spot. The ghost will autonomously do this chalk hands interaction from time to time. There are no new death types in paranormal stuff pack, but sims with level 4 medium skill can use the seance table to perform a ghastly ritual. If successful, they will turn into a ghost temporarily for 4 hours. In Cottage Living Expansion Pack, there are 4 new types of deaths, which are Number 38, Death by Chicken Attack If you try to perform mean interactions to chickens, like yelling at them or scaring them multiple times, they will try to attack you. Usually, your sim will survive this, but very rarely, after a chicken attack, your sim will actually die because of it, so don't mess with that. Additionally, if you're attacked by an evil chicken, which is a chicken fed with the midnight treat or born from an obsidian egg, an attack from them will almost always end up in a fatal consequence. The ghost will have chicken head inside and you can hear ghastly chicken sound from time to time. They also like to scare chickens a lot. Number 39, Death by Rabbit Attack Same as before, if you do mean interactions to a wild rabbit multiple times, like scaring or yelling at them, the rabbit may retaliate and attack you, leaving you dazed. But there's a chance that after an attack, your sim will die as the result. This death is much easier to be triggered compared to the normal chicken attack death, so be cautious. The ghost will have a floating rabbit head inside and you can hear shrieking rabbit sounds from time to time. They also tend to scare rabbits as a revenge. Number 40, Death by Old Age for Animals Like sims, farm and wild animals in this pack have a limited lifespan unless you disable it in the settings, and if their time is up, Grim will pay a visit and peacefully send them to the afterlife. This death applies to chickens, llamas, cows, and foxes. Foxes in particular have the same death animation as dogs. For rabbits though, they won't be visited by Grim. Instead, they will enter their home and disappear forever, with a notification stating that they have died. Number 41, Death by Foxes for Chickens and Rabbits If you have the Wild Foxes Lot Challenge equipped, foxes can roam around and chickens and rabbits can be targeted by them. And if you don't shoo them away or have other animals to protect them while they're stalking them, the fox will attack them. Sometimes the prey can win the fight, but if unfortunate, the fox can finally devour them, killing them in the process. Grim won't come around this time. There are no new death types in Werewolf's game pack, but it's worth mentioning that if a werewolf has the devour ability, they can eat any objects, and since chickens and the mini goats and sheep from Horse Ranch pack are considered as objects, well, they can technically kill them in a way. In High School Year's Expansion Pack, there are two new types of deaths. These deaths are exclusive to teens, but adult sims who have reached level 10 in mischief skill when they were teenagers can also experience this. These deaths are Number 42, Death by Urban Myth If a teen reach level 8 of the mischief skill, they'll be able to perform this Summon Urban Myth prank to others. They will grab a hand mirror and try to chant some words into it with the other sim, and if successful, they will scare the other sim instead, making them get this scared debuff. I guess this is a reference to the Bloody Mary myth. Anyway, if the prankster fails, they will look in the mirror and be shocked in horror on what they see. They will also get the same scared debuff. If anyone with the debuff tries to do the same prank again, they will certainly fail and this time, a shadow hand will reach out of the mirror, scaring the prankster to death. The ghost will have a black aura emitting around them. They will also get scared when using a mirror. They also tend to defuse pranks made by others and can also defuse toilet pranks, but I think this interaction is bugged now because the animation is broken and it won't defuse the toilet prank right after. Number 43, Death by Sting Capsule If a teen reach level 3 of the mischief skill, they can plant a sting capsule into a school locker or the trash can as a prank. The next sim interacting with it will trigger the stinky explosion. 
Anyway, when preparing for the prank, there's a chance the capsule will explode on your Sims face, which gives you this uncomfortable debuff. If they dare to set one up again while still having the debuff, there's a high chance that when it fails, the explosion will suffocate your Sim and they will die because of it. The ghosts will have green stinky aura around them, and like the urban myth ghosts, they tend to defuse pranks made by others. They can also do the bug defuse toilet prank interaction. In the Horse French expansion pack, there are two new types of deaths, which are Number 44, Death by Old Age for Horses Horses have three life stages, and if they reach the last stage of their life and their time is up, like cats and dogs, elderly horses will lie down and die because of the old age. The ghosts can go past through walls, have this floaty walk style, and can still be ridden. They can also possess objects and if in a bad mood, do a ghostly neigh which makes them scared. Number 45, Death by Old Age for Goats and Sheep Like the animals in Cottage Living, mini goats and sheep also won't live forever, and when their time is up, Grim will pay a visit and send them to the afterlife. And finally, in 4 Red Expansion Pack, there's one new type of death, which is... Number 46, Death by Mold once you equip the Mold Lot Challenge, when your house is messy, molds may appear. There are two types of molds, but the one you'll have to look out for is the Toxic Mold. Molds can be got rid of, but if you let the Toxic Mold grow to its final stage and you're exposed to it for too long, you'll develop a three-stage disease called Moldenitis. This disease has many symptoms, and in the third stage, the symptoms get even worse. If you're still exposed to the mold while in the third stage of the disease, your sim will become delirious, act like an infected zombie for a second, and then collapse as they die and become one with the mold. The ghosts will have a floating green mushroom inside their body and they float around differently compared to other ghosts. They also have several new abilities where they can summon allergenic molds by clicking on the floor, create a fungal overgrowth by clicking on the ground where they can spawn different kinds of mushroom plants, even mushrooms from other packs, spoil food, and blow fertilizing spores to plant in order to increase its quality. Keep in mind that these abilities cost their energy need each time they're used. They also won't be able to eat mushrooms as a fellow mushroom kin and get enraged when someone nearby eats a mushroom, lowering your relationship with them quite a bit. They can also confide in plants, which is basically like talking to plants. So those are all death types and ghosts in The Sims 4 and all of its pack as of 4 Rent expansion pack in December 2023. As I said before, if there are new deaths added to the game in the future, I'll let you know in a pinned comment down below. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. This video was pretty time consuming to make, so I hope you'll give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more Sims videos like this. See you later!